All right, so in this video, we are going to be soldering our ESCs in our battery connector cable to our power distribution board, AKA our bottom plate of our frame. We're gonna start off with soldering on the battery connector. And that is going to go right here on the side and the ESCs will be in the four corners. So starting out with your battery connector, yours might look a little bit different. The rule of thumb is the gauge of the wire on your battery connector should match the gauge wire on your battery. So in this case, this battery has a 12 gauge wire, so I'm matching that with a 12 gauge wire here. Now you might be saying, hey, these connectors are different. Don't worry, we have adapters that can transfer an XT60 to a Dean's connector, so we don't have to worry about that. Now the first thing we should do is trim off some of the insulation from the wire if uh, we don't have enough wire exposed. You're gonna want maybe a couple centimeters, and the way to do that is, if you don't have wire cutters, it's pretty simple. You just kinda clamp down very gently around the insulation with some scissors, and then you just rotate the wire around that scissor point. And then once you make a complete circle, you'll have cut off the, the insulation and you can just rip it off. After that, what we need to do is tin our wires. So what does that mean? We need to, right now, we have no solder that combines all the individual strands of our wire here. So what we want to do is melt some solder around all the little wire strands so that when the solder uh, solidifies, it acts as one giant uh, piece of wire. So how do we do that? It's very simple. Just let's clamp one of those ends in here. And you're gonna take your soldering iron and some solder. And you're just going to place the tip of your soldering iron onto the wire and gently bring in the solder close to your soldering iron point. And as you feed in solder to your soldering iron and it melts, it'll automatically distribute throughout the whole exposed wire tip. All right, let's get the other side now. Generally, it's a good rule of thumb to not feed the solder directly to the soldering iron tip and instead heat up the wire hot enough to melt the solder and then just press the solder to the wire. But in our case, the wire is so large that that's sort of a hard thing to do. And you might have to touch the solder to the soldering iron tip. And okay, so we have tinned our wire tips of our battery connector cable. Now we're going to solder that cable to our power distribution board. So here is our power distribution board. And here in the center is where we have our two electrodes for our battery connector. So we're going to start out by putting a little bit of solder onto the electrodes. And we'll do that by just placing our tip down on the electrode and feeding in some solder underneath the tip. And it will distribute to the electrode. Make sure to wipe off your soldering iron and now it's time to solder this guy onto the board. And just remember, red is positive and black is negative. This is a very thick wire, so it's kind of difficult to solder. So we have put on our largest soldering iron tip from the kit. And we're going to just press down on this, on the top of the red cable and slowly the solder will melt and adhere to that electrode. All right, now the solder has cooled off, it is solidified now, and our red cable is now fixed to the plate. So let's do that one more time with the black wire. And now, there we go, we're all set to go.